But I don't keep my gowns usually. Or when I'm ako, I return to the designer. I'm curry pot. I don't have to buy it to keep it. I'm so ko naman ay, de ba? Na aura ko na siya. I love mga ganito. Pag nasa bahay lang ako as a housewife. So ganyan, pag nasa bahay lang ako, nagluluto-luto para sa mga kids. Joke lang. Hindi pa ako ever nakakabili ng designer clothes. Parang, pambayad ko na lang yun ng meral ko. Julia here. I am so excited yet nervous at the same time for this episode because I don't think I've ever shared with anybody my personal space and I've never felt comfortable with that idea but your response they have been so overwhelming so positive and as our way to show our gratitude and to say thank you we are finally giving you one of your most highly requested vlogs my walk-in closet door let's go so the first thing that you'll see when you enter is my shoe and bag closet I have two doors here in my walk-in closet. One is coming from my bedroom and one is coming from my hallway so that people who need only to be in the closet hindi na nila kailangan dumaan sa bedroom ko para makapasok. And the first thing you'll see, like I said, is my shoe and bag collection. So we can start with the bags first. These are all my bags. Um, as you could see, parang ano dito lahat ng colors, nandito lahat ng neutrals, the whites, hanggang sa magba black na siya. As you could see, and dami kong maliliit na bags because I really love small bags, mini bags. I don't like carrying really big bags around with me every day or for just an errand. My most used right now, I'll probably say this Gucci really mini bag. I put here my tiny wallet. My mask, I fold ko na lang, uh, a lip gloss or a lip balm or a lipstick, and a really tiny hand sanitizer. As you could see, it's so used, hindi na siya white. It's off white na siya. And then also this one, one of my most used now. I just feel like it's so easy to carry it around. I will share with you guys my first ever purchase na bag when I started earning money when I started working. Ito siya. Sira, sirang sira na siya actually. And luma na siya. Pero ayaw kong ipamigay because it's where I started. So it's a black Balenciaga. As you could see, ito ang pinakauna kong bag and purchase ko when I started working. Pero nandiyan lang siya kasi may attachment ako sa kanya. One of my favorites, siguro also this, this YSL na may string yan sa loob. I love everything with a string because para ano lang, nakahang lang siya sa akin. I can freely move, use my hands. One of my favorites also would have to be this one from Louis Vuitton. I think I got this when I was in Japan. So it's also nice. It's my favorite evening bag. When I have dinners or I have events, one of my favorite items also in the closet. So this is my Chanel boy. It's very uh, special to me because I remember just wanting the bag so much. So I worked so hard just so I could buy myself my own Chanel boy. And then this was a gift by Dr. Bello for my birthday this year. And I just love the color. It's just perfect. I feel like pink is my color of the year and it's just perfect na ito yung binigay niya sa akin for my birthday. Before, I didn't like to use pink. Now, I'm so crazy about it. Ito, shoes na siya. Nandito siya kasi favorite ko din eh. Like this one from Bottega. Another pair that's here is Christian Louboutin heels. It's yummy. The colors are so yummy. It's also one of my favorites. Let's go here. Okay, this naman is my sneaker closet. Ito sa shoes ko. Ito yung kung nasan yung mga sneakers ko. Right now, I have a, I have an obsession with sneakers. So, it's all there. Um, pang workout, volleyball, 
more sneakers. Ito, nandito lahat ng mga Kakatoas collection ko because I love Kakatoas. It's my favorite sandals now. My obsession ako sa kanya. It's all the way there. And then, moving on, nandito na lahat ng heels ko. Well, not lahat. Hinahanap ko pa yung iba kong mga heels. Pero, this is just some of them. Booties, heels, sandals. This is my favorite pair. This is my favorite pair. It's so used na. Ito yung favorite kong gamitin sa taping. When we were building this house, tinanong sa akin ang gamawa sa akin ng closet ko is um, ano yung important for me pag sa bag collection ka na and sa shoe collection. And I specifically said that I wanted these kind of lights because ito yung palagi natin nakikita sa mga stores. And it's just so nice to look at your items. Pag may ganitong light, you feel like nagsha-shopping ka lang all over again. Pero sa'yo na yung mga items. These are my most used, my Hermes sandals. Also this, I love these Chanel sandals. I got them in Hong Kong. Last year lang yan. And then all my booties. Okay, this one is sort of like my Christian Louboutin part of the closet. Itong pinaka mga used ko, the nude, the white, um the silver, the gold and ito, super used ko tong mga to. Nude and then ito din black, basics, essentials and then I also have my colored ones. The story kung bakit ko nahiligan yung shoes. When I was starting out, when I got back in the business, I was around 15 or 16 years old. And then I remember I had my very first event with a lot more girls who are also in the industry. Pero yun nga, kaka, parang first time ko lang ulit sa industry. So, hindi ko pa alam yung importance of having, you know, good quality shoes. I remember I just brought one pair na hindi siya designer, hindi siya, hindi siya masyado good quality. And then, um, I remember me and then the other girls, we were all in one dressing room. Tapos nakita ko na pumapasok yung lahat ng mga designer shoes nila. Like Christian Louboutins. Like a lot of Christian Louboutins. And then I remember in that moment naiyak talaga ako sa dressing room because I felt like parang na-embarrass ako that I didn't have um, good quality shoes. I didn't have my own pair of Christian Louboutins at that time. So, uh, yun. Medyo, medyo na naiyak ako nun. Nasad ako sa moment na yun. But I said to myself, I'm gonna work so hard para when we fly to LA, pupunta ako talaga sa bawat Christian Louboutin store and buy many pairs. So, pagpunta talaga namin ng LA, pinuntahan ko lahat ng makikita kong Christian Louboutin and bought myself um, a lot of pairs. Um, and then now, ayan na siya. You know, it's funny because shoes lang dati yung, okay, I'm gonna work so hard because I wanna buy this pair. Pero syempre, hindi na ako masyado bumibili ng bags at saka shoes kasi mas careful na ako sa expenses ko. Adulting stage na ako. So, I take care of my bills now. Electricity, water, pang sweldo, house, everything. Hindi na ako nakakabili ng mga bags and shoes. Okay, and then, so coming out of my shoe and bag closet. Ito na yung makikita nyo yung space. As you can see, um, it's a very simple space. I didn't really want anything so fancy. I wanted everything talagang in place. Hindi talagang kita yung mga gamit lahat. Kind of a minimalist. Before I go ahead, gusto ko lang din mag-thank you kay Miss Isa of Neat Obsessions. I don't wanna take credit for all the organization here in my closet kasi siya talaga yung nag-ayos ng lahat ng to and I just took it from there. So this is my vanity area. Nandito yung mga palagi kong ginagamit na mga lip gloss, lipstick, Tapos, as you can see, it's very clean lang. I want everything clean. Like in each drawer, I have here my hair curlers. Na naka-label siya. Naka-pack siya ng ganito. It says, hair curler. And then, on this side, nandito naman yung mga hair dryer ko, hair straightener. And then there. You know, when you have a very clean 
organized space, parang nakakaklaro din ang isip. Parang my mind was so clear after all of this organization. This all came from her. Even yung mga lalagyan and ko ng mga hair clips, cotton buds, cotton pads, hair ties. Lahat yan may label yan. And it's just much easier for me. So ayan, it's cute. Para when I travel, ito din, ilalagay ko na lang sa bag. Here, I'll show an example. Straightener. On this side, nandito lahat ng extensions ko, hair extensions, nakapack din siya. Everything for my hair, nandiyan yan. And then dito naman, may makeup, mga ginagamit ko pang baon sa taping, nandiyan yan lahat. Wipes, um, cotton buds, toothbrush. Ito here, I like this space so much, it's very organized. Nandito lahat ng mga eyelash curler ko, mga palettes. Um, headbands, yun. It's more organized. Foundation, skin prep, everything. It's organized, talaga. Dahil sa neat obsessions. Eto lahat nato ng electronics ko. It's all there. This is one of my favorite parts sa closet. So if you guys didn't know this about me, I am a collector of perfume. I have an obsession with perfumes, and I have so many different scents. May ilgaw sa matapang. Meron ako mga matatapang, pero din meron din ako mga araw na I want just an everyday scent. So something very light, something uh, happy, like a happy, like a baby scent. I love sometimes smelling like a baby. And before when I moved in, dinagay ko lang siya ng makalat lang. And it was so hard for me every time I needed to look for my scent for the day. And now, napadali kasi naiikot-ikot ko na lang yung mga perfume ko. And then, ito, naka-label siya. I have here all the stuff for my body. Um, even all my alcohol, hand sanitizers. I have here everything for my hair. Dry shampoo, hairspray, my favorite clips. Ito, nandito mga nail polish ko. Naiikot din siya. Lotion from pen shop na kalon. Body oils body shimmers. So I started collecting perfumes. Ang tagal na, I think since I was a teenager, I just found so much happiness in, in scents and I enjoyed um, just finding the best and right scents for me and it kind of became an obsession. So I'll go to a department store like Rustan's and then buy myself like three every time. And um, yun dati, nung bata pa ako magastos talaga ako. Pero ngayon, na I live on my own and ako na nag ng household. Tipid na ako. Ano na ako? Um, kuripot na. And then moving on to my center console. Itong mga accessories ko na to, I have a few pieces na real jewelry, but not everything here is real. Wala pa ako sa edad na yun, wala pa ako sa age na mahilig na ako sa jewelry. I, but I think one day I'll get there when I'm much older. But right now, itong mga to, many things to my stylist, Kath. Um, napaparami yung mga jewelry ko dito sa bahay dahil sa kanya. But I do have my favorites. Na real ones. No, meron din ako mga tunay. Like for example, the first diamond earrings na nabili ko for myself. Na hanggang ngayon, ito pa lang yung diamond earrings ko. This one. My first ever. I bought this when I started working. I wanted to gift myself with real diamonds. So I was 16 or 17 at that time. Hindi pa ako masyado bumibili pa talaga ng mga alahas. Ito, super my goal to have my own Cartier love bracelet. And ayun, I worked super hard also, yet again. I worked hard again to be able to buy myself my own rose gold siya. Ito yung lock niya. So you see, matagal-tagal na din siya kasi rusty na siya. Well, one of the few real pairs also is here from Dior. I got this lang last Christmas. So, ayan. Meron ako nyan. Ito mga for fun lang tong styling, styling. And then I have here my wallets. I love mini wallets. Super, super. Hindi ako masyadong into big. Pero meron akong malaki din. Tinatago ko lang siya. When you open up this one, all my special necklaces are here. This was given by my mom when I was 16. It's very special and everyone always asks me where I get this because they don't always see this kind of 
um, handwriting, di ba, pag usually name yung pinapalagay natin sa necklace. The reason why it's so unique is because this is my mom's handwriting. That's my mom's handwriting gifted to me at 16. Ito, linagyan ko siya ng rose quartz. Kasi, sabi ng stylist ko, it's a, it's a nice crystal to wear for unconditional love and to find love. So, ayan, nandiyan lang siya sa tabi ng pangalan ko. Hindi ko na rin siya tinanggal. That's from my stylist, Kath, from her brand, Nami naman. Ito, ito mga, from my old endorsement, tong mga shades. Kinip ko siya dyan. This one from Eurolux. Chanel earrings. Super nice. I'm just so grateful to have a lot of people in my life na who are very thoughtful and like to, you know, gift me with stuff na magagamit ko talaga. Um, ito, one of my favorite, favorite drawer. It's my sentimental drawer. And it's written here, my sentimental drawer. Um, these are the old polo shirts of my grandpa. Um, I kept them and I have photos with him na yan yung mga suot niya. So, very, very important to me. Meron kaming linagay na rosary dyan. This rosary was given to me by a fan and um, I really liked the design. And that was just so special because it's just the sign also that, you know, I have very thoughtful fans who um, uh, remind me to stay faithful. So this blankie is just as old as me. It's 23 years old. I've had this blanket since I was born and um, I can't live without it. I can't sleep without it. It's there. So it's called my sentimental drawer. Um, I really like this corner also. Nandito lahat ng mga bracelets ko. Um, and then my candle. I love candles. All my coffee table books. Roses. So speaking of roses, I want to share this part because I super love receiving flowers. I love roses and I think a lot of people know that about me. But one of the best things about roses is when they dry up. Well, at least for me, that's my favorite part. Pag na dry up na sila. So all the roses given to me, all the flowers given to me, I they're all dried up na and they have a special spot downstairs. But I have some special flowers that I chose to have framed. So I have a friend who who, who does this on Instagram, they're called Avero Crafts and they're amazing, so, so talented. So itong mga to, like this one, it's a very special rose to me. So I waited for it to dry up, tapos pinadesign ko siya. I don't wanna let go of it, like the petals. Ito, rose petals din yan. Ginawa niyang wings. The reason why both of these bags are out is because these are my most used bags also right now um this is what i usually bring to work i love i love 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 this bag which i got from la and then this one i love to use this for travel or outings or biglaang beach trips like this is the most reliable bag for me this is one of my favorite parts also sa closet ko because um para siyang hotel uh, nandito lahat ng linens ko, lahat ng pillowcases, towels, hand towels na it's so nicely labeled. I love jeans so much, but I have so much of them. Too much of them. Because I love it so much, I have a lot of them. So I think one of my favorite parts in the closet is just where all my jeans are. It goes all the way till the back. Nandito yung mga black jeans ko. Ayan. Hindi ko na nga alam minsan ko ano yung difference niya na eh. Kasi they look all the same. Pero nandyan siya. All my denim shorts, colored, and all types of pants. And then nandito yung tops ko. And then nandito lahat ng, ng dresses ko. I think I'm a very t-shirt jeans kind of girl and sneakers um that's just my go-to outfit i have my girly days also may mga times i want very short dresses i want long dresses well i have memorable dresses like i remember all the dresses i wore during my wololos week ito yung mga dresses na naalala ko talaga mga suot ko sa wake ng lolo ko so this is i think second day this was when we had to say bye na because he was going to be cremated. This one. And then this one was... This was second, third day. And then nung nagbabay na kami, this was the dress I wore. So, 
Hindi ko siya kayang i-let go ever. Ito yung mga dresses na sino ka ba? <laughs> bakit ba? <laughs> Ito, bakit ba? Yan, yung mga ganyan lang. Pero okay lang. Kasi may ganyan akong mood sa when I'm shopping. Parang, I feel like I wanna be different today. Tapos pag nauwi ko na parang, oh, it's not me. Pero nandiyan pa siya. Feeling ko ipapamigay ko na rin. Matagal na to. These dresses are matagal na. Wala akong parang, oh, um, the way you wash it or the way... Wala akong ganon. Parang, I'll just buy. Tapos laba. Buy, suot, laba. Buy, suot. Parang ganon lang. I don't have a secret tip on, you know, just how to take care of my clothes. Hindi pa ako ever nakakabili ng designer clothes. Parang... Hindi ko alam if it's even something I'll ever do. Maybe for like a ball or maybe for like a wedding or maybe for an important event. Pero yung mga pang yung everyday, parang wag na, oh my gosh. Pambayad ko na lang yun ng meral ko. I have my debut gown, but it's so big, it's so heavy. It's upstairs, the one by Michael Cinco. It's with me until now. But I don't keep my gowns usually, or pinagpapagawa ako, I return to the designer because, again, I'm kuripot, I don't have to buy it to keep it. Um, binabalik ko na lang, nasuot ko naman eh. Diba? Na-aura ko na siya, so I don't buy it na. So here, simple lang talaga sa loob. Ang dami ko pang, ang dami ko pang space. Pero ito, like here are my dresses, everyday dresses. I love mga ganito. Pag nasa bahay lang ako, ito lang yung mga sinusuot ko. As a housewife. Kidding! This is from Karen's Tindahan on Instagram. Check it out. They're so nice to me. They keep sending me these kasi alam nilang gustong gusto ko yung mga ganitong dresses. Ang dami ko, oh. I have it in this style. I have it in pink. So, ganyan. Pag nasa bahay lang ako, nagluluto-luto para sa mga kids. Joke lang. Ito lang suot ko talaga. And then, nandito na lahat ng pajamas ko with a label. Pajamas and then all my t-shirts because I love just wearing t-shirts. Ayan na siya. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I have someone who helps me with laundry. Pero once, dinala na siya sa taas. Ako na ang... It's my responsibility to return them to where they belong. So, ako nagpo-fold ng underwear ko, yung mga bra ko, ayaw ko nang pakita, baka sabihan baby bra. Pero ako yan lahat because um, I like to know where my stuff are. So, ako na nagbabalik. And then, I have so many spaces pa. Sweaters, jackets. This is my loungewear. Ito, loungewear also. May mga labels yan. Pants, because I love pants. These are my lounge pants. So, parang I think everything here is for lounging. I have my athletic wear. Athletic wear and then more athletic wear. Yeah, so I mean that's it. My closet is so simple. Nothing flashy, but everything's just simple. Everything is hidden as much as possible. I want my closet really, really clean and really organized and everything in its own place. There it is, my walk-in closet. It took a lot for me to finally agree to to do this and share this space. But I hope you guys enjoyed that and enjoyed a little sneak peek of a personal space of mine. And I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye!